everyone and welcome back to uh, Linkage Fen Crafts needle felting tutorials. Today I'm going to do uh, one of my easiest tutorials, well most of them are easy but this is super super easy. Um, we're gonna, just going to create little mushrooms, toadstools, wh whatever you like to call them and once we've got the basic shapes done then from there you can go on to create all sorts of, of um, gorgeous little projects, um, little shroom houses, toadstools. Um, here I've got a little forest floor garden going on with the three mushrooms, a little snail on there, some leaves and that's on, um, on a, a nice base of split hazel. Um, so I think we'll just, um, there's a lot of techniques involved, really simple, a lot of fun and I think we'll just crack on with it and um, learn as we go. Okay, let's get going then. First thing we're going to start with is the uh, mushroom base. So this needs to be nice and firm. So I'm going to use, um, I think I've got Jacob, white Jacob wool top for this and I like to use the, the Jacob because it's a nice coarse wool and it doesn't leave a lot of needle marks. I would not recommend using uh, Merino for this. It's really it's quite difficult to, to needle felt. It's really fine and it leaves um, quite a lot of needle marks. And if you're just starting out as well, it can be a little bit off-putting if you're struggling with the, the wool that you're using. So this is a natural Jacob. Shetland would be fine as well. White-faced woodland. And it's a nice coarse wool. So we'll start with, um, we're not going to make, uh, it's not going to be too big, so I think we'll just take off a small, small piece of wool. So hold your hands apart and then just pull away. If you pull your hand, put your hands too close, you're going to struggle to separate it. And all we're going to do to start with is um, make a, a basic cylinder shape, which we're then going to shape so it narrows at the top. I'm using my Hessian pad, but most of you will probably have a foam pad, which um, is just as good. Um, I'll use both throughout the video so you can see how they work. And all we need is, is your wool, your base and a needle, and that's it. Okay, here we go. So, to create our mushroom base, we are going to roll up our piece of wool top and we are going to keep that, I say the royal we, <laughs> you are going to keep that nice and firm because this will um, alleviate any excess needle felting that we have to do. So the firmer it is to start with, the less we have to needle felt it and the quicker it is and I like anything that's, um, that's quick. So um, if there's a quick way to do it, then, then I will look for it. So we're pulling that in, we're rolling it in. Don't have it loose like that. That's not going to support the mushroom top. So if you find that it's coming loose, just pull in the sides, push it down. If you're using the mat, then push it down into the mat, like so. And don't get hung up on the shape doesn't matter we can sort that out um, once we've got the um, the basic shape in place and tuck these sides in you see what I'm doing tuck those sides in as you roll as you see I've not even felted anything yet we're not creating a shape we're just creating a cylinder but what we don't want to end up with is um, is something that's too long so roll that round and as you can see it's not even a proper shape yet but that's fine so you take your felting needle, I use um, a 38 standard for most of my needle felting projects and then when it comes to finer details I'll use a 40 needle which is um, a little bit finer. But again I'll explain that as we go along. So what we're doing now is we're just sort of tacking it together and can you see how firm that is? That's how firm your, your um, shape should be. If it's not Unroll it at this point before you over felt it and um, start again. Now if you want to speed up the process, if you haven't got any um, fancy gadgets you don't need them, I've just got a couple of needles here taped together and that works just as well. Um, you can also use something like this or a felting pen I think, which has three needles in. No need to buy anything extra, this will do. 
So we're just creating and firming up the shape. We may add some more wool, but we'll get the basic shape in place first. And now you want to start focusing on which end is going to be the, the base of your mushroom because that's going to um, sit and support uh, the top. Uh, so we need it to be quite flat. So I've decided that this end is going to be my base. And also, you can just squish it down as well with your hands, and that will help to create the shape as well. Your hands um, are as important as tools um, as, as the needle is. And you can see now that we're already starting just to create a shape where it narrows at the top where the mushroom cap is going to sit. And then in a diagonal fashion, keeping those needles straight, just felt down the side of the mushroom base to narrow it even further and it also takes in any loose bits of wool. And then you might not be able to see on the video but there are a few um, needle marks so you can actually just use your hands to remove them and if it's a bit furry, fluffy, then just go back to a single needle and just tidy those wispy bits up. And that's pretty much it for your mushroom base. Very quick to do. And, you know, depending on what size you want, this is quite small. You can have it double this size, three times this size. You might be making a massive um, house. But we're just going to start off with something small. So there we go. Our base is ready. So we're just going to put that to one side. So that's one technique. That's using your, your wool um, roving or your wool top. You can use carded wool as well. I've just chosen to use that because I, I like the way that it really rolls up nice and firm. And I do like to use the, um, the coarse British breeds. So now we are going to um, make our mushroom top. And this is very soft, this is completely different, and this is a completely different technique, and we'll be using completely different wools. So, um, let's go going with this one. What you need is some core type wool. So this is the loose wool. Um, we're not gonna roll this, this is going to stay really soft. So I've got two types here. I have the, the white core wool, and then I've got this, which is um, actually spinner's waste from one of my suppliers and um, it's short fibres but again will do the job just as nicely and I think we'll use this just because I like this one I like working with it and because it's all recycled um, so you don't want too much um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a, a basic shape with the core wool and then we're going to wrap it with the wool that's going to be visible for our mushroom top so all you're doing is it's quite loose you just want to bring in the sides just pull it in, um, I suppose a bit like you're kneading dough, you're, you're pulling it all to the centre. And then take your needle or two needles and just poke around. Don't worry about getting the shape perfect, we just want it to hold, we can do all that later. I'm just going to change to my foam, so if you're working on foam you can see you, you do it just the same. Um, so you just use your fingers, one hand to pull it in, keep your fingers out of the way. Keep moving it around and that is all you need to do. And this is going to be the underneath of the mushroom cap, so all the, the untidy bits. Um, won't be visible and, and it will all be covered anyway but what this is doing as you're drawing that around you're pulling the sides in tight but more importantly creating a really neat edge so when I turn that over you see what we've got there now you can either go for um, a flat top like this or if you want to create something more pointy um, like these ones here, then all you need to do is take some more of the 
the uh, coal that you've been using and just build in an extra layer. It's almost like you, you, um, you're creating a second one but we're going to keep this quite loose and just needle felt that down so now you can see we've got more shape there and height it's as simple as that don't fuss over it too much once you've got a really simple basic shape then then just leave it alone okay so that's our core wall so that's the inside that's the core of the um, the mushroom cap so to create this gorgeous um, covering I like to use the best thing to use is um, wool batting although you can use um, wool tops again um, but I'm going to use wool batting sheets but just because they're so easy to use so I've got some colors here um, I really like this natural um, moss green we've got a, a brighter green here which is really nice we've got the red which I've already used and then we've got the the purple so you can you, there's a lot of choice out there I think these are Corriedale carded bats if memory serves me correctly but I think we'll use this nice um, oh, which one no we'll use this one we we'll use we'll use the bright green we'll use the bright green why not let's live a little so what you're going to do is you're going to lay that on your mat and you want to put your, your core wall that you've just created upside down because we're going to draw this around it like a blanket and lay it face down, well top down and then just, the great thing about batting is it's really short fibre so you can just separate it very easily so here we are, it's okay that's the top which is going down onto the piece of wool batting that you're using. We're going to pull one edge in and then you can go back to your single needle for this. I'll just check that's my 38 yet. And you're just going to go to the center nowhere else because what we want to do we want to keep this wool as nice and um, uh, needle free as possible so that we don't see any marks. So this is completely different to how we did the, the mushroom base. And then just work around, pulling in those sides. You'll get some overlaps, which is fine. Keep pulling into the center. Stretch it a little bit if, you've, um, if it seems a bit short and it's not going to give you full coverage. It stretches quite well. And then keep bringing it round. You see how we've got all these... It's almost like um, hospital corners. Wow, I remember those. And then we've got quite a, a big chunk here, so just pull that away. We don't want to waste it, and we don't want the mushroom to be really bulky. So just pull that over now. And then keep working round. Use your needle to lift up any loose bits. Keep working round. Keep working round. And now keep going round and use your fingers, your hand, just to bring those edges in. So bring everything to the centre. And that's where you're actually felting into. Now you can actually work a little bit further down and just bring any loose bits up and towards the centre. You see how we've got these lumpy bits here. Soon bring those in. And remember this bit will not be visible because this is going to be felted onto the top of your mushroom base. Keep working around. Okay, and when you've done that, turn it over. And as you can see, you've not got a super pointy mushroom but you've got a mushroom that's got a nice shape that tapers if you wanted something more pointy then build up that um, core wool that we used but I really like this shape I'm really happy with that and then just go around it 
if your mushrooms are going to stand on their own then go for something that's short with a, a shorter with a squat um base you know make the base and if you need to you can make the the base wider if it won't stand up you can actually add um, some wool onto it. If you're going to be sticking things onto a plinth or, or a wood slice um, like I have here with the forest floor garden then it doesn't matter um, if they stand up on their own or not and I've just used um, a hot glue gun to pop these down. And there we go. So as you can see we've got a lovely impressive mushroom top that's going to go onto the base. But first, if you want, you can add some um, little spots and if you've got a finer needle, which I'm using a, a 40 here, um, it it's, makes it easier but you don't need one. So all you need to do is take a little bit of white wool, whether it's core wool, roving, it doesn't matter, wool top, um, carded, just pop it on, don't even create a shape, just stick it on because we're going to use the needle. That one, sorry, that one. So this is my um, 40, so just gently pull in the sides and we're just tacking it on, we're not going to overwork this because if we do that then we start to distort, this is quite soft remember, it's not like the base, we will actually distort it so we don't want to do that if we can avoid it, so just pop it in till it's tacked in, that's all it needs to be and then add a few more, now that's quite a big spot if you want something a bit smaller then use less wool and carry on let's do a really wee little spot there, so you can use even less wool and just carry on doing that until you're happy with how many you've got on. You might want to leave it plain and not bother with these at all. Okay. And as you can see, because we're just tacking it on, we're not distorting the actual top of the mushroom. Just pop one more on and then obviously if you're, if you're doing it um, you can just add spots at your leisure. Okay, so now we're just going to quickly attach it to the base of the mushroom, which is really simple. Turn it upside down again, where you've gathered everything in. Pop your base in, narrow end underneath the mushroom, and then just go through in one spot repeatedly, right through to the other mushroom, because what you want to do is tangle all the fibres that are in the mushroom cap uh, and then they will tangle in with the fibres of the base. You can see that's held already. And then just work round. If you work from the top, what you're going to do is you're going to create some um, indentations and it just doesn't look as nice. So we want to keep that as um, free of using the needle on it as possible, just for the spots if you're going to, uh, if you're going to use, if you're going to add them. But you can be really rough and you want this to be on firmly because you don't want it to be flopping about. As you can see. And then what you can also do is you can, if you want to um, change the shape slightly or pull mushroom down, you can just use your hands for that. And you can see that mushroom's nicely attached. Probably need to work on that base a little more to, to flatten it. Not sure if this one's actually going to stand up. Ah, yes, there you go. So you can see, as long as you flatten that base, even with a really big top on it, as long as that base is nice and firm, then um, it will stand up on its own. But again, if you want to, you can create a really nice little scene like this forest floor garden scene here. Um, I've got a snail there that I've added in, some little antenna and some leaves, which are really easy to do. You just, um, if you watch my other video on um, creating animal ears and robin wings, then um, you do the leaves in exactly the same way. So there we go, and then um, 
if you want to, if you've got more confident and you want to do something a bit more elaborate, then here I've got my little um, shroom with a view house, and this has actually got a little chimney on it with the, the smoke coming out. And exactly the same as you did for the mushroom top, I've created a base um, to create the little garden on. So that's um, really, really easy. And then with that technique that you've used here, you can create so many um, fabulous things in a really short period of time. Um, pumpkins, um, you can make perfect pumpkins in phew, about, you can make a pumpkin in about 20 minutes. So many variations, so many um, different things you can do. And then um, at Christmas, I did these. I made um, these gorgeous um, snowmen. Yes, I knitted the scarves and the hat. Um, but yeah, we can, you can make these, these lovely snowmen and they're exactly the same. So they've got the core wool in and they've got the white batting um, around the side wrapped in um, and you've got three pieces. And that's, um, that's it. That's how you create marvellous mushrooms. Thanks for joining us.